What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. Today we're going to be discussing something that I think every single WWE action figure collector I think goes through. You know, you go on the toy hunt, right? You go on the toy hunt. We all are searching for those rare WWE figures. We're all looking for that good stuff. You know, we go to the Walmart. We gotta get the groceries. We gotta get some milk in the eggs and the farts in the bag. We go out there and, you know, we're like, well, yeah, I might, always, I might as well go to the action figure aisle, right? I mean, they may have something that I like. I know that, you know, that Elite 64 Pete Dunn may be over there. You know, that that Collector's Edition Rock may be, may be over there. You know, these these race figures, they float around. You know, I'm, maybe they have an extra Top Talents Finn Balor I could grab for a custom or something like that. You go over there, and every single time you go, they either don't have anything, or they have that one elite that just rots there on the shelf. And so today, guys, that is what this video is going to be about. We're going to be discussing the worst or best, I guess, in this case, shelf warmers of all time. If you guys don't know what a shelf warmer is, it is exactly that scenario that I'm talking about, right? It is the figure that literally nobody wanted to buy. It literally rotted on the shelf. Nobody wanted to buy it. And there sometimes there's 62 of them on the shelf. There's 12 of them on the shelf and nobody wants them. And the store that's there just 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 refuses to take that hoe on clearance. And uh, it'll be there till the dawn of time. I know that one of these figures is just the all-time just greatest shelf warmer of all time. What we'll discuss him last and we'll get into all that guys but uh let's go ahead and run down i have about seven or eight figures to run through and i hope you guys can agree i do want to give a shout out to all of my instagram followers and and people that hit me up with their personal stories about you know shelf warmers and things of that nature guys so today we're gonna dive in deep and take a look at all of these and uh i i hope you guys can agree with me i think these are the most undoubtedly like this these, these are the cream of the crop i think when it comes to shelf warmers guys so with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get started. So starting out first, guys, this is a figure that I have personally never seen. I was not collecting WWE action figures at this time that this figure was released. However, uh, I can accustom to this. I had a few people say this figure, and I had, you know, some people that have been collecting, you know, WWE figures for a long time say that this one, uh, you know, stayed in stores for a very long time, and that is going to be the Elite 25 Brodus Clay. Now, uh, while we talk about these figures, I'm going to also mention and maybe why I think that uh, they shelf warmed and I think that uh, for this one I think that it was mainly just his gimmick maybe I think that it's probably just his gimmick I'm not sure exactly you know he had that Funkadactyls deal and you know it was just kind of I don't know no, nobody took him seriously maybe that's why uh, Elite 25 was a decent little set I know they had Seth Rollins in that set I know that they had the Bruno San Martino in that set and maybe you know just people were like yeah they, I'm gonna take this over Brodus Clay so I I don't know. That's just maybe what I'm thinking. Maybe the Funkadactyls ruined this man from ever getting picked up by a child on the action figure aisle at Walmart or Target. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, this is a figure that I did see multiple times on toy hunts, especially around the time it released. I think it released in 2015 or 16 early. I can't remember. Maybe 2015. Um, but this is Elite 39 Psycho Sid. My boy Tanner from Undisputed Brotherhood, TJ, he told me that this is a figure that rotted up in Canada. And I do remember seeing his toy hunts that they had a bunch of those I do I think I think that if my memory serves me correctly I also saw this figure at my Walmart many a times um, you know this figure set it had Dolph Ziggler sting the British Bulldog it had, it was a pretty decent set and uh, Psycho Sid was just such a plain figure right I mean it had the smiling head sculpt it had the plain black trunks it was a really big body and it just wasn't a figure that stood out to people on the shelf like if you didn't know who Psycho Sid was you're probably not gonna want him in your collection when you're looking at the figures on the shelf I like Psycho Sid I like that figure actually. I just uh, I, I understand why it's shelf form. It's just a really plain figure, which I think is why it's shelf form so bad. And so that, that makes sense to me about Psycho Sid. So that is the next one. Next up, guys, we have an NXT Target exclusive, and it is going to be Alexander Rusev. Now, you guys know as well as I do, the NXT elites te seem to just sell out. Anywhere you go, you know, these NXT waves, people love them. People love, you know, because they, they're usually really hard to track down. They're first time in the line, guys. They're exclusive, so they're really rare. They, they inflate in price. You're like, Jesus Christ, man, am I ever going to find that NXT elite? Not with this Alexander Rusev, man. This is probably... Uh, this and then I'd say probably the NXT Elite Bailey, probably the easiest ones to track down because they weren't first time in the line and they are, they're not something that people ask for really, you know, it's not Aleister Black it's not The Revival, it's not Killian Dane, it's not Ruby Riot, it's not anything first time in the line and it's not, it's not No Way Jose even you know, there there's figures that uh, you know, people really saw 
sought after because of that reason, and and this was not a reason for for Rusev here. So um, I think that it's a figure that just didn't stand out either. You know, it's kind of like Psycho Sid, kind of plain Jane, kind of crazy. I really like it because I'm a big Rusev guy. I love Rusev, so I really did like this figure when I found it. I actually ended up picking or almost picking up two or three of them, but much like the people who didn't want it initially, I didn't want two or three of them when I saw it on the shelf because there were so many. I was like, eh, they'll be here, and now they're gone. But they did for a long time shelf warm, and that is a definite one right there. Next up, guys, we have the Elite 32 Daniel Bryan. Now, Daniel Bryan has a bad history of shelf warming. Now, he has the Elite 32 action figure for Daniel Bryan, and then he has the Elite 38 Daniel Bryan. Now, when I first started collecting Elite 32, I think uh, it was like Elite 30, 31, and 32 were the series that were in stores when I started collecting WWE figures and WWE Elite action figures. And so, Elite 32 Daniel Bryan and Elite 38 Daniel Bryan just rotted on shelves, and I don't know what the hell the deal was. Uh, I guess it's, again, it's just really plain, and you know, you guys know with the Yes movement taking place and all that stuff, um, I'm sure if his figure would have been on the shelf when all of that was going down, I don't think it was quite on the shelves when that stuff was going down. I think it was after that, so I think that once, you know, this started taking place, I think that it just hurt him. I'm not, I'm not sure, you know, it's uh, it seems to be... Figures that are just like really plain Jane, like that don't stick out on the shelves, don't do very well at retail, which is kind of crazy to me because some guys I see that are really plain Jane sell out. So I guess it just kind of depends on who you are. You know, uh, John Cena flies off the shelf. You would think, oh, John Cena, his figures are going to rot on shelves because they're all the same and all this stuff. No, Brad, you find a John Cena figure at retail? No, you don't find a John Cena at retail because they're gone. For a fact, I really never find John Cena elite figures. You find his basics all day long because it's the same, you know, green armbands basic everywhere you go, and, you know, it may shelf form. But we're talking about elites here today, and uh, Daniel Bryan did suffer with Elite 32 and 38. Very similar figures, and um, I, I have been to many Walmarts where there's like 20 or 30 on the shelves. One of these images of the stacks of Daniel Bryan's does come from my boy on Stable 1047, Christian. Uh, he sent me that photo, so thank you so much for that, bro. That That is just absolutely ridiculous. This is what I've seen this before as well in a Walmart out of town, but this is this is crazy, man. Next up, guys, we do have a women's figure that I do want to discuss, and it is from Elite Series 54. We are talking about the Elite 54 Charlotte. Now, I honestly could not tell you why this figure really, you know, rotted on shelves. It had the nice robe with it. You guys know that usually when we get a nice cloth goods figure, uh, they, they usually fly off the shelves, right? It usually doesn't seem like they would just rot on shelves or anything like that. But uh, this figure was definitely bitten by that bug. In this series, I think we had the Elite 54 Usos, which were very nice. You know, they were a big upgrade. They had their new out, you know, they had their new look going. They had the joggers, they had the accessories and everything. So those flew off shelves. You had the first time in the line, Rich Swan, which also fell off the shelf. And I think that the reason things, you know, rot on shelves is because of uh, what wave they're a part of. You know, if you're a part of a really good wave and, you know, you go to the store and you see other figures, you know, you know, if you're not a big time collector, like one of us or something, you're not going to really buy two or three or four figures. You know, when you're a kid and you go to the toy aisle and you have like, you know, money you've saved up from your allowance or, you know, you your, your mom wants to buy you something nice just because maybe you got good grades or something, she's probably not going to buy you two or three. You know, Josiah, my son, when we finally have him, he is probably going to be spoiled because obviously big time collector and everything like that. So I'll probably buy him two or three or something like that. But, you know, not everybody uh, does that. And so, uh, you know, when you go to the aisle and you buy just one off the shelf, you're going to pick the coolest one. And, you know, if you're if you're a good figure, but you're a part of a great wave, you may suffer because, you know, the, there's other figures in the wave that people want over you. And then over time, you get picked over. Another series comes out, you get picked over again. Another series comes out, you get picked over again. You have exclusives, you get picked over. So I think that is why this Elite 54 Charlotte kind of rotted. But it's also not the greatest figure. You know, women's figures, they don't have the Elite Articulate they may be called elites, but their ankles don't pivot at this point. This was a single jointed knee Charlotte. They're single jointed arms, and uh, they're, they were basically no different than a basic. So I, I can kind of see why women's elite figures may you know sit on shelves a little bit longer if they're not a first time in the line. So that is something that you may want to take note of with this Elite 54 Charlotte. Moving on, guys. This one is something that I am definitely a personal 
You know, I saw this a lot. I've seen this a lot, and it's probably the most recent figure on this list, and I do not know why exactly it's shell forms, but it is the Top Talents 2018 AJ Styles. Now, when I say the Top Talents 2018 AJ Styles, kind of hurts my feelings. You know, AJ Styles doesn't deserve to rot on shelves like that. It's a really good figure. It's a really good attire. I think the only thing that holds it back is the head sculpt. You know, it's that Elite 61 head sculpt. It's like the Elite 56 AJ Styles, but it is the True Effects head sculpt, and so I think that does hold the this figure back. I think that, you know, I, I don't see a lot of the Elite 66 um, when I've seen it. They've all been gone. Um, I don't see a lot of the 2019 AJ. Every time I've ever seen the 2019 series, I only see one AJ. Uh, but when I see the 2018 Top Talent series, it's like 13 AJ Styles. It's like six AJ Styles. And uh, my recent Walmart had, like, it had no Elites. And uh, the only Elites it had for a long time was like four or five Top Talents AJ Styles. Now they're even gone. And so, uh, that is something that is very upsetting. So, I mean, my Walmarts and Targets haven't really had elites in a long time. Uh, my Walmart specifically, though, that it hasn't had elites in a long time. And AJ Styles was one of those last remaining ones, and now they're even gone. And uh, that that tells you something, man. It tells you something that we haven't had anything in a long time. If those AJ Styles are gone, but uh, this AJ Styles figure does not deserve to shelf for warm. It's very upsetting because, again, really strong figure. And uh, hopefully, the 2019 Top Talents AJ Styles will fly off shelves. And I'm surprised they did. Re replace him in the 2020. I guess he sells well, but it doesn't seem like it because again, I you would think this would be the Braun Strowman in this in this scenario. This is what I would expect, but apparently kids love Braun Strowman. They buy up his figures, um, and so that I guess that's why they keep releasing it. So it's it's very interesting to know. You know, we may not love the Braun Strowman figures they keep re-releasing, but the children are eating them up at retail. So that is something to take note of. But uh, the next figure I want to discuss, guys, really quick is one submitted by my boy Cody, and I. I could see this one a little bit, but he says that where he's from, this one's pretty bad, and it is the Elite WrestleMania 34, Brutus the Barber Beefcake, and I can see why, you know, I've seen, I've seen a lot of beefcakes too, and I've seen a lot of beefcakes on clearance still shelf warming, so uh, they, they marked this thing down to seven or eight bucks, and nobody wanted it still, and I was one of those people, I just wasn't big on it, I like beefcake, just didn't want, you know, 78 beefcakes, and you know, if I find that Kevin Owens on, on, on clearance, I'd probably take it, you know, it's Kevin Owens, I can make customs, uh, uh, you come with a U.S. title, uh, plenty of opportunities, plenty of reasons to buy that Kevin Owens, but the beefcake is something that I wouldn't want either, and I do rem I do remember, I actually think my Walmart has a couple of these on clearance still, but again, I'm not buying beefcake, man, not buying beefcake at this stage right now, especially when I'm trying to save up money for other things, I'd rather buy a different figure, so um, I did want to end the video, guys, on the worst or best, depending on how you look at it, the worst slash best Shelf warmer of all time, and I think anybody who you've ever talked to ever that's ever went on a toy hunt of all time in the last three years or whenever this figure released will tell you that this figure is undoubtedly the biggest shelf warmer of all time, guys. We are talking about the Hall of Fame Target exclusive Tito Santana. Now, baby, I can tell you this. This figure, there ain't a Target across the damn world that ain't got one of these things hanging on the shelves. I'm kidding now. My Target has finally gotten rid of their Tito Santana. And um, I think there is a story. I think Bill talked about this. And uh, it's 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 literally just look at the draw. Like, it's actually a really good figure. Like, anybody who owns a figure will tell you it's a really nice figure. It has great joints. It looks good. Um, good everything. Like, it's a really good figure. But uh, when this figure released, I think Hulk Hogan had his whole spiel come out. You know, he got in all his mess that he created, and it was it was really bad. And Mattel, uh, WWE told Mattel not to put any Hulk Hogans out on the shelf. I do believe this is the story. And uh, they ended up sending a mass, or mass producing a number of Tito Santanas and pushing them out to stores. And so every target ended up with a, a, just a chunk load of Tito Santanas. I think that's the story. I can't remember the exact story, but I think that is it. Uh, they, they Every target ended up with like a, a truckload of Tito Santanas than they were supposed to. And for that reason they ended up like staying on shelves forever and uh, actually uh, I have a target that I go to out of town that's um, it's probably about 30 45 minutes away uh, the last time I went there there was three Tito Santanas on the shelf and all three of them had dust on them like legitimate like that like bad caked up dust and it was really terrible so I mean if that doesn't tell you it hadn't been shelf warming for a while guys but I think anybody would undoubtedly agree that Tito Santana is absolutely the worst slash best shelf warmer of all time he's in the shelf warmer hall of fame he's on the you know the what's it called the Mount Rushmore he's on the Mount Rushmore of shelf warmers and I had to mention Tito Santana last but I think that is going to do it for today's video 
video, guys. Um, I'm actually working on the a new intro for MDT Live, and I may release that later once it's completed. So we may have a double upload here today. We'll have to see about all of that. But uh, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, if you have, if you guys have a shelf warmer that I did not mention down in the comment section below, please let me know because I would love to talk about it and show it off and interact with you guys. So if there is a shelf warmer that I did not mention, please let me know down in the comment section below. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. You know, help the shelf warmers out, man. You go to Target, you got an extra few bucks. You know, you see those AJ Styles chilling on the shelf. Go ahead and buy one so that we don't have to keep looking at it man go ahead and take that hoe home so that we can get some new figures in there maybe they'll put some new stuff on the shelf if we buy the crappy stuff but i know how that is like why why am i going to spend my 20 on this crappy aj that i have four of already or uh it, it, you know instead of waiting on the good stuff but thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video thank you